welcome to my channel, Starlight Starlight 70. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new, welcome. Come on in. So today I've got a little Timu haul, y'all. <laughs> um, I got some uh, dime paintings from Timu. Um, yes, I'm back to Timu. I've I've uh, indulged in some other companies recently, but uh, I'm really excited to go back to my Timu. Uh, this is where I have ordered dime painting since last June, or actually probably July, um, when I received my first one anyway. And overall, I have been very happy with Timu diamond paintings. Uh, they have thousands of diamond paintings. I would say at least thousands. Um, they're coming out with more Disney now. I think they're um, they're licensed with Disney, which is really nice. So, uh, but these aren't Disney. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm collecting the little girls that I see on there. I think they're just all so cute. So yeah, um, I'm, I am an affiliate and a influencer with Timu so I will leave my link here up on the screen and uh, my promo code um, as well as in my description box so if you are new to Timu or you haven't downloaded the app on your phone I think almost everybody has heard about Timu or at least have heard the name Timu <laughs> I'd be shocked if there wasn't somebody um, that hasn't but uh, but anyway um, if you are a first time user for the app, uh, just click on that link. It will take you over to Timu. Uh, you have one hour to shop and you just put in my promotional code at checkout and Timu will give you 30% off your first order. Um, if you haven't had the app installed in the past 14 days, just use my code. It will give you 30% off. Um, there is a $100 coupon bundle too that uh, Timu will... Uh, give you so there's some benefits of Timu. Uh, I absolutely love Timu. Uh, Timu not only do they have dime paintings, they have thousands of other products. Uh, I have been shopping at Timu probably almost since the beginning of when they first uh, came out. Uh, they have great, great prices. Um, all these diamond paintings cost me under $4. Well, not all of them, but I mean, uh, all these diamond paintings were $3.59 a piece. So each diamond painting was under $4. So yeah, um, like I said, really, really good prices at Timu. Um, and they have great customer service, they have free shipping, they have a 90 day money back guarantee if you need to return something. Uh, they have something called price adjustments, so if any of these paintings say went down in price, I would get the difference on that. So, so yeah. So Timu, like I said, is, uh, I just absolutely love Timu. And I am so excited to show you what I got. So the first one, like I said, they're, they were all $3.59. Um, I will have these linked down in my description for you. And let's see if I can open them. So today I, I did was working on my dime paintings and I was watching YouTube. And, and uh, I know there's really bad storms again, so tomorrow's supposed to be really bad as well. I know as soon as Ryan Hall y'all comes on, um, he has a YouTube channel, and that's who I watch when there's really bad storms. Um, he's great info, uh, and I just uh, think he's uh, he's absolutely fabulous when it comes to. Uh, whether he's got storm chasers that are out there chasing these storms and basically giving you first hand of uh, where the danger is and so forth and to take cover and uh, stuff like that. So, like I said, he is really, really good. Um, so if you haven't heard of Ryan Hall, you all go check him out on YouTube. Uh, he can, he's not a diamond painter. <laughs> But I just love him. But anyway, so um, after he was off the air, I was just kind of thumbing through some of my oldies but goodies. And uh, I came across, um, oh, what's his name? My little fellow there, uh, Richard. 
from Real Real Man Craft 2, I think is what his channel's name is. Uh, I will put a link down in my description for him as well. But uh, it just so happened that I was watching one that uh, my my uh, my friend there from the other other state, just right next to me, um, little DP creepy uh, cutie, uh, gave him a canvas, and so that was really neat. So I watched him open it, and it was of uh, I believe it was a New York skyline. It was a skyline of some city. And uh, it was one. It was a DP, or no DAC. It's a Diamond Art Club painting. And uh, so yeah, I thought that was really neat. But anyway, I've watched him for quite a while. He, um, he's into. He did. He's done beads, uh, jewelry, and he has done jewelry for probably what 50 years. <laughs> Sorry, Richard. I don't know how old you are, but might have just called you out. <laughs> But anyway, he creates, he does create gorgeous, gorgeous jewelry. I believe he does have a store. I don't know if the store is still there, but uh, you can check him out. Check out his channel. He does have links. So he has, um, it's called RK Originals Jewelry on Facebook. So maybe he still sells on there. Uh, but he loves diamond painting. He loves Magnificent. So Richard, if you if you just happen to uh, bypass my channel uh, and are watching, Timu has a magnificent uh, lady on there that I was thinking of you when I saw it. I think somebody else hauled it as well. So, but yeah, but uh, go check him out. He's uh, he's great. I, I love watching him. So this is. Of course, the little girl, she's got a drink, she's got her puppy. I just love her big brown eyes. Uh, really beautiful long hair. I think she's going to turn out beautifully. Uh, this one has 22 colors, all letters, not in alphabetical order. Uh, but really nice jewel fill. It is a sparkly canvas as well. So there's the jewel fill of her. She's just absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, like I said, I think I think her face is going to absolutely turn out beautifully on this one. And her eyes. And of course the little puppy and his little eyes. So, so cute. So, her fingers look good. I mean, it's just right here on the edge anyway, but I don't know if you can see that. Let me move this down a little bit here. But yeah, so she's got fingers here and they look good. And so, yeah. And like I said, all these paintings were $3.59 that I'm going to show you tonight. So, and so if you are new to diamond painting, this is what's going to come in your diamond painting uh, kit. So they're going to come in, like I said, like you saw in this little plastic wrapper thing. And then you get this, it's just a basic kit. You get a little tray, you get a pen, and you get a piece of wax. Um, I don't really care for these uh, trays, so this is the tray that I use, not to say that you need to use it. There are some some diamonds in here because I was working on my uh, <laughs> on my uh, uh, painting, but anyway, um, but this is the uh, one that I use. I really like it. It's nice and big. I can shake the diamonds really nice in it, so... You also want to get a little case for your diamonds. Uh, I don't have one handy here right now, unfortunately, but uh, <clears throat> I'll insert a picture of, uh, of a little container that uh, you can purchase for very cheap on Timu as well uh, to put your uh, diamonds in because you're going to have to cut open these bags to, of course, get at them and so you definitely will want to uh, get a container to put them in. Or they could, you know, they they could get lost, they could spill out, so forth. So, yeah. But these are the colors. Really, really nice colors. So it is a bit on the darker side. So you got a lot of browns, of course. Grays. Browns, grays, peaches, couple a bit of whites in there but yeah so but like I said the drill fill is really nice on this one 
no no issues at all so like I said I think she's gonna turn out really really nice there's a little thumbnail of her so yeah she's just adorable love 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 her The next one is again is a 30 by 40. Actually, all these are 30 by 40, so I probably won't even say it again. <laughs> but, yeah. So, again, just comes with your basic kit and your diamonds. This one has 22 colors in it. And, again, just absolutely beautiful. Little girl, she's got a ribbon in her hair. She's got her puppy dog. She's drinking a, I think those are called bobo teas. So she's got a cute little hair ribbon in her hair and nice long hair here. I think her eyes and her face are gonna turn out. She's even got eyebrows here. Um, this one is 22 colors and it is all letters but not alphabetical, which doesn't bother me. And then the drill fill there. Really nice, very clear. So yeah. And again, there's just gonna be a lot of browns, I think, in this one as well. Some whites, and then there's some pinks. Blushy colors. Yep. The drills all look really nice and these ones are all round so yeah let me pull up my sleeves <laughs> there we go so yeah she's really really cute again she's got a cute little doggy she's drinking like I said I believe that's a bobo jink and uh, yeah I thought she was just adorable there's a picture of her there so, hope you saw that. So yeah, really, really think she's she's. Uh, all these are gonna be really, really cute. They may make a really nice set too. So so what did everyone? do today hope everyone had a fantastic day so this one's got a hat on her head uh, it does have a couple little folds in it which will probably get flattened out here I was watching um DP Bewitch Cat, and she was talking about when you pull this uh, film off the canvases, it releases some of this stuff here and it uh, will flatten out. So I'm like, yes! I knew there was a reason why we do this. <laughs> Not to, you know, try our patience or anything. <laughs> I know it tries mine sometimes. Just, uh... There we go. So there she is. This one has 21 colors. Again, it's all letters, not alphabetical. Um... But really, really cute. She's like I said. She's got a. She's got a. We call it a toque in Canada. So she's got a toque on, and it looks like it's got little hearts on her toque. And then she's got a little puppy dog there. Her hands look actually really good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> so she doesn't have extra appendages or anything, which is nice. Her puppy dog looks really good. So yeah. Really, really nice. So, hopefully you can see all her. I did try to move my camera out a little bit further tonight. 
So, because I noticed with some of them, I cut off usually the bottom, but there's your drill fill, really, really nice and clear. Absolutely very easy to see. So yeah, even for it being a darker, again, you just get your basic kit. And then these are the drills here, which look really, really nice. And it has some blues in there. Some really dark blues. Ooh, that's interesting. And lots of grays. Lots of grays, beiges, and browns. And then a blue. I don't know where the blue would go. This is B. So yeah, it's interesting. Hmm, not sure. So, but anyway, I think she's going to be really, really good too. And she's got a, a drink in her hand as well. So, really nice. Oh, we forgot. You know what I've been forgetting? I'm going to see how sticky they are. Very nice and sticky. No problems with the stick at all. And then this one, oh, this one is a little bit different, but she's still, they've all got holding some kind of animal. Well, these three, I think two or four. Um, again, you get your basic kit. And this one is just adorable. She's got a little umbrella on her head. She's got a puppy dog. Like I guess I just absolutely love these. There we go. So yeah. So again, like it's just a little girl. And she got an umbrella on her head. She's got her puppy dog there. Her fingers look good here and here. They all look really, really good. One, two, three, four. So I have to zoom. That's her thumb there. So <laughs> this one's kind of cut off, but uh, but yeah. And this one has 22 colors, and it is all letters, but not alphabetical. Uh, drill fill looks really nice again. Lots of color blocking in this one, which is nice. And the puppy is so cute. She's holding her puppy so close. I just thought this was adorable. And there's a little thumbnail of her. Let's see if I can get it there, focused. Hard to do it when the light ring is right up here, but hopefully, there we go. So yeah, really, really cute. Nice and sticky, no problems there. And then here's the uh, diamonds, or drills, or beads, <laughs> whatever you want to call them. And all these uh, diamonds look really nice. Very, very nice diamonds. They are all they are all DMC colored, so color coded. So yeah, but really, really nice. You got your little bit of greens, and then your beiges, your browns, your grays. Then you got your peach colors in there. Some whites, some blues. So yeah, I like this one too. And all of these canvases too, I should just show you real quick, but they all have a number on them. So here's the number here, which corresponds to the number up here on the painting. So I always check for that when I, uh, when I unwrap my paintings, just to make sure that the number is there. And 
And then last but not least is this little girl. I thought she was just adorable, so picked her up. And again, you just get your basic toolkit there. But yeah, I thought she was just really cute. I love her hair and her little uh, ponytails, curly ponytails. Oops. Uh, this one is 20 colors and it is all letters. Again, not alphabetical. But I do paint by symbol, uh, so I, I don't, uh, it doesn't bother me at all. And usually when I kit these up, I will uh, kit them all by symbol, and then I will put it alphabetically in order when I'm, paint, when I'm done with painting. So, yeah. So this one is, like I said, really, really cute. She's got a little jean jacket on. There's a little house or something here on the side. Um some people here. I'm not sure if these people will actually turn out, but I was just more interested in her. So, like I said, I think she's just absolutely gorgeous. And she just, I don't know, she's just really, really pretty to me. Really, really pretty. So, that's her drill fill bear nice and clear so yeah so like I said these these ones are all the same price they're all 30 by 40s and they all have uh, the numbers on them so like I said Timo has really really good prices for the diamond paintings and I have not had too many that I have not been happy with um, if I haven't been happy with them, I've had no problem getting a refund of uh, my money. And uh, the only reason why I wasn't happy with them is because they either came wrecked when they were shipped. Like I had one that was folded right over. And uh, it would have almost been impossible to get the crease out. And I still, I got my money back. They told me to keep the painting. I did the painting and... Um, many of you have probably seen her. That, that was the Moon Goddess, the real big one that I got. Um, she was one of my most expensive diamond paintings uh, that I did purchase. But uh, So I basically got her for free. And I did, I ironed her out. And um, there's still a little bit of crease in the, in the painting if you really look closely. But when she's hung up, you don't even notice, which is really, really nice. And then I'll just show you my current... Um, work in progress and she's of course my butterfly girl so this is how much I've completed she is being done for Diamond Grandma's Fantasy Life uh, 24 for Tita's um, Blissful and Blue because she's got really pretty blue in her uh, dress there and then her wings she's going to have some really pretty blue so this one is uh, 39 colors and it does have five ABs in it. So you can see some of the ABs running through there. And then she's got some ABs in her dress down here. So yeah, and then there was a couple down here by her shoes. So yeah, she is absolutely turning out gorgeous. I've really had no issues with her. Um, there is tons of color blocking in here, tons and tons and tons. So it's very slow going, at least for me when I'm uh, doing this. I do mostly all uh, by tweezer because uh, this is a square. So it's one by one by tweezer, but it does make the rows actually really pretty straight. I won't say absolutely straight, but a lot straighter I find than using a pen. Uh, but so I do like to use my tweezers. Um, I did notice I do have one or two that are very hard to pick up by tweezers and then I have to use my pen but uh, other than that she's other than that I've had no problems with uh, with her at all so uh, she is turning out absolutely gorgeous but 
I just, she's very, very colorful and, and, uh, oh yeah. And she's also, before I forget, she's also, um, for Wings and Things by, uh, Diamond Crafting by, Diamond Crafts by Eileen. So she's for three events, this one here. But like I said, she's really, really nice. And this one too has a nice soft canvas, but, uh. But yeah, so that's my little uh, butterfly girl coming along. So I should have her done, I'm um, hoping by the weekend, maybe, if I keep at her. And then I need to do a wolf one for um, for Bewitch Cats. Uh, she's got a wolf event happening this month, so i got to do that one. And then I'm going to be working on my Winnie the Pooh. So I'll probably be kidding up my Winnie the Pooh and working on a small wolf if I can find if I'm sure I have a small wolf one around here somewhere um, that I can work on for the event but uh, yeah one one big diamond painting is is lots for a month um, I find anyway and then I kind of like to do smaller things in between but uh, but I really do want to start on my uh, Eeyore one that my husband got me so I think that one is just adorable and I want to hang it up here in my little cozy corner. So yeah, so thank you all so much for watching. I so appreciate each and every one of you. Um, we have almost reached 300 subscribers now. Yay, I'm so excited. Uh, that's a big milestone, guys. 300 subscribers. You guys are all amazing. I love reading your comments. Um, if you haven't subscribed, though, yeah, consider doing so. It's free doesn't cost you a thing just go over there hit the subscribe button um, and uh, make sure you hit, hit the bell because the bell is what notifies you when I make more videos I do try to put out a video a day so far it's been I've been lucky I've been able to do so um, whether it be a, a video this length or it could be a short or it could be both sometimes I've done a short and a video the same day so just depending um, but yeah, so I like that word. So <laughs> I notice I use it a lot and I'm trying not to, not to say it as much when I, whenever I hear myself like, oh, there you go again, saying that word. Anywho, love you guys all and God's richest blessings. See you on the next one.